Finally, someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land south of here. Halleck's brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't share his optimism about the loot we'll find, but if we get only a fraction of it... Made a living pillaging the ruins of old places like Talarain. Robbing the dead tastes better than stealing from the living. I'm a good enough thief. Never once been caught. Still have all my fingers, or didn't you notice? Well, I know there aren't much women way out here, but let's stop all the attention, shall we? It's a touch embarrassing. The name's enough to put most explorers off. Bugger them, I say. Just less competition. Besides, what's in a name? I spent two years trying to make a fortune in a land called the Painted Orsks. Never did find out what an orsk was. Ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Glad that's done with. Legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cursed! A pack of two legs gave me this name, but they would not give me help. They hit me and drove me away just for eating their tasty meat birds. But what did I do wrong? I was cursed by three sprites who were bored. Had I fang and claws, I would shred them like meat birds. My brothers and sisters think me but another two legs now and will not suffer my approach. I am without a pack. But it is worse than that. Your two-leg life is unbearable, like these strange things called <laughs> pants. How do you tolerate them? 
You must mean the fair folk, yes? They are north of here, deep under the shade of Yolvan. Their smell... <laughs> it is unusual, green. Hunters like me, two legs. Their blades are their teeth, and they fight for their kin until the, <laughs> the last breath. It is good for the hunt, this wood of smell and shadow. As a two legs, I cannot stalk, cannot pray. The bloodlust. <laughs> it is agony. You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head, but two leg bodies are so clumsy they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them, but I cannot fight in this form. Will you <laughs> help, two legs? Thank you, two legs, but the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. <laughs> be warned, the sprites have much magic. For the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. Their pack is small, but they are each powerful. They came to this forest not long ago, drawn by the magic of the, the well. Were I a wolf, they could not best me. But as two legs, I am clumsy and weak. Be careful. This is a black pool. Old when the mighty trees were saplings. It used to wander throughout this corner of the wood until the sprites ensnared it. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. <sighs> Beware them. They have much magic.
<laughs> Two legs, do you come to me empty handed? What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-leg kind might <laughs> call it the well that wanders. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it <laughs> seeks. Hmm. Before I was cursed, I remember <laughs> strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. to drink but there's plenty to drink but yeah
It is there, two legs. The scent of water. Faint, but it does not escape me. My pack shall hear of your compassion and honor. I now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack. And now you may continue on your path, but with the knowledge of how to fight with the strength of a wolf. Now I shall drink deep of this potion and return to my kind. <laughs>
Hail Traveler. Ah, finally. For a while I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveler by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? None are safe from its wilting touch. Not even the travelers. Like everyone, Armor Law, our fate is in the cards. Lambs, all of them, yes. The people in Gorhart wish to hide from the war beneath the trees. But you and I both know the truth. There's no running from the Tuatha. At first listen, the face speak in riddles, but bend an ear. They revere stories. It is how they give their lives meaning. If you can call what they do life, the House of Ballads is a place where the Fae revel in their past glories. It is north of here if you're curious. I'm a firstborn traveler's child, raised to live the way my people have for centuries, by wit and wiles. It is the crossroads of the southern and eastern routes. It is also a haven for those wishing to escape the horrors of Webwood. To the west lies Gorehart Village. To the north is the House of Ballads. I've traveled Webwood many times, but that was before the recent unpleasantness spiders have overtaken the forest it is best avoided anyone who labors to defy nature is a fool the war sworn built that keep to stand for all time but it will fall like all the others they should heed the lesson of castle yolven if magic wishes to reclaim what's rightfully hers she will do it They usually stay with the war in the east, thankfully so. But I've killed a few here in the dark wood. Wish I knew what brought them. New to the Feylands, yes? We travelers are folks without land, law, or king. We go where we want and do what we please. That aside, it's pretty much common knowledge that we're some of the greatest thieves in the land. Kiss a traveler and count your teeth, so the saying goes. An ancient castle inhabited by spiders. They say a witch is involved in its overthrow. I do not know of such things. Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads fay. They are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. Huh, never met a traveler before, have you? We may look humble, but our purses are always full. You can find a lot of coin if you know where to look. And when. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. It is the story of a maiden who lost her ring to a greedy troll. A young knight, wishing to be her champion, offered to reclaim it. The champion killed Antelope and used the carcass as bait. When the troll came to feed, the knight killed the troll and returned the ring to the maiden. The ballads of these fey repeat naturally, but if we reprise it now, we can force the troll and the ring to appear again. It's the way these fey work. Who knows? You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fey. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. Good luck.
that stole the ring in the ballad is named Lekka the Corpulent. I guess he had a bit of a appetite. You need to mount the trophies just like the champion in the ballad. When all are displayed, Lekka should come. Once he's there, it should be easy business claiming the ring. I mean, you've killed a troll before, right? You need to display them in the ruins. That's what's going to draw out Lekka the Corpulent and get us the ring. I'll be here. Thanks for dealing with Lekka. I... I wasn't really afraid, mind you, just playing the parts all. Well, now that this business is over, just give me the ring and I'll give you your payment. Oh, after seeing what you did to that troll, I'm not keen on the idea of getting on your bad side. Keep the ring, if you so please. Looks like there's no fairy tale ending after all. You would make a good traveler. Hmm. Enjoying it, are you? Good. Now why don't you leave well enough alone? Be gone with you. <laughs> <laughs> 